Welcome back with us folks tonight. What we want to focus on is try to steer away from the dangers of leveraged ETFs. The reasons for this, pretty simple. What we want to promote is risk management, making sure that the odds go your way. I mean, when you gamble, you know the house will always win no matter what you do. It's not like flipping a coin 50-50, it's even worse. It goes always, the house always wins. So we try to stay away from all this guesswork and try to make sure that everything goes, we have the, more ch the, the best chances on, your, on our side rather than trying to, you know, have worse than flipping coins results. So basically I'll, I'll show you why I feel that the dangers of uh, leveraged ETFs, and if you Google them, you'll see that, you know, many other traders are pretty much in the same opinion that I am. And, and just to start with, I'll give you a few examples and yeah, you, know, you know, you can make your own decision after that. I'm not saying they shouldn't be there. I'm just trying to show you that the idea is let's, Let's make sure that we have the more chances on our side. Now, I'm not saying they're not going to win ever, but let's start with what's an ETF. ETF is a basket in which we put stocks that can be traded. Sometimes we will have indexes such as the S&P 500, the NASDAQ 100, the, the VIX, uh, is another one. Uh, VIX is the, um, I call it fear factor volatility index. Um, all of these guys cannot be, they're, they're indexes. So basically they're an indicator of what's happening. If you wanted to trade them, well, they have ETX, exchange traded funds that, like I said, now using deriv derivatives, future contracts, options, all that in order to make it happen for you to be able to trade these, these stocks, uh, these uh, funds. Now, the idea is to show you what's neat. It's not to show you what an ETF is. The idea is to show you what a leverage ETF is. Um, leverage is basically they take the ETF and they can multiply it by 1.5, two times, or even three times. So basically if it's up 3%, well on the same day, the three times ETF will be up 9%, which on paper sounds amazing, right? Um, you'd, you'd be like, yeah, I'm in for that. I want to trade that. However, I'll show you in the long run, um, how it can be very risky. Um, and I'm not talking about the fact that these ETFs and leveraged ETFs have a very high um, maintenance fee, if you want to call it. Let's say the ETF is about 0.05%, where the leverage can be as high as 1%. So basically, it's always costing more and always going down. Um, in the end. So if you want to trade something to the upside, well, this one is already starting with the fees to the downside. So quick example here, if you were to buy an ETF at $10 and your first day, you're up 25%. At the end of the day, you're at 1250. You guys agree with that? Next day, well, it's down 20%. You're down to ten dollars right you guys all see this right this is the etf if you were to have a three times etf basically if you buy at ten dollars scroll this up a little bit if you buy at ten dollars well you're super happy because you know you had 25 percent before now you're up 75 because it's three times the 70 the 25 percent so on the first day you're 1750 if it had stopped if you stop there it's great and we can all see the use of that however on the next day what's the drop drop is three three times the um three times 20. three times 20 is 60 percent, so it's down 60 percent. down 60 percent is what down 60 percent 
is $7. Yeah, you're only left with 40% of the original value that you had the day before, right? So this becomes really tricky. And I'll show you a few more examples because you say, okay, you're now you're showing just the one that pleases you and makes your, your example work. Let's say market is designed to go up, right? You take a $10, same thing. So it's one day up 20, down 15, up 20, down 15. You've seen that before? I mean, I'm exaggerating a little bit, but let's follow this. Up 20 is what? 12. Down 15 is what? 10, 20. Up 20 is what? 12, 24. Down 15 is what? 10, 40. So market is designed to go up, you know, on this volatility, high volatility day, you know, up 20, down 15 is called volatility in my book. So you were, you started at 10, four days after you're left with 10, 40. It was the three times ETF. Basically what we're looking at is this first day you're up 60, right? Down 45. Next day, you're up 60, down 45. See how it goes, right? So you're up 60 is done is up to what? 16. Now, if it were to stop there, you'd be more than happy, right? But down 45 is down to what? 880. Up 60 is what? 14.08. And then you're down 45, you're down to 7.75. So you see that in the end, and this started at 10 bucks, only held through this volatility that the stock is still rising and your ETF is much lower by a significant margin. So what I'm trying to show you folks is this. Be very careful of what's happening with these things because they are bound to go to zero. You know, if we had, um, back in the days, in, we, we had a big, huge drop on, on the Dow, which is usually a very safe haven. Um, if it were to drop 33%, your leveraged three times is now worth zero. You guys should all see that. So I'm not saying that it's going to happen. I'm, I'm just showing that possibilities are there. And... You know, want me to show you another example? It's pretty simple. You know, up 10, down 10, up 10, down 10, which is, you know, flat trading. You know, up 10, if you start with that same $10, up 10 is what? 11, down 10 is what? 9.9, .9. up 10 is what? 10.89, and then down 10 is what? 9.80. So, you know, you're very close to trading flat. You're down, you know, a few pennies. If you go with the, the leverage ETF three times, call it whatever, two times, 1.5, you know, the UVXY is 1.5, it's doing the same thing. You know, it's up 30, down 30, up 30, down 30. You get up, you're, you're with what? 13, 9.1, then up 11.83, down 8.28. You know, this was down a little bit. Now this is down huge. So I'm just sharing with you folks, the dangers of this in a high volatility market is even worse. If you want to catch something, you have you need a plan that will work and put everything on your side. And what I'm trying to show you here is just be aware of how tricky these things can be and how, you know, holding on for a swing that is long, I mean, you're, you're, put, you're not putting the odds on, on your side. Basically, like I told you, you know, gambling, house wins, in this case, everything points to, towards the house that is going to win. So, you know, I hope you guys understand a little bit the dangers of how this can be and how you can now trade it. I'm not saying it's not possible, you know, a one day um, uh, scalp or, or, or trade can be a good thing, but be aware that there are significant dangers trading leverage ETFs. Hope this helps folks.
Stay busy.